we have some special guests in the eBay cave tonight. We got the homeschool hustlers, and they had three sales today. So they're each gonna make three bucks, and we're gonna reinvest, and we're gonna save, and we are going to uh, spend a little bit as well. Okay. All right, Turner. Why don't you start us off and tell us what you have? This fart gun. It's a fart gun. What movie is that from? Minions. Is it from Minions? Do you have your own fart gun? Yes. Yeah. Were you upset that we were going to sell your fart gun? <laughs> no, because I have a keychain one. Oh, you have a keychain one, too. Yeah. That sold for $17.91. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, Reagan, what do you have? I have um, these wooden yo-yos. Yeah, and, and those really... are the yo-yos from the video the other day we brought home, and me and Reagan decided that this was going to be a good item to list on the homeschool hustler store and it sold really quickly and how much did they sell for do you remember twenty dollars twenty dollars you're gonna help me ship them yeah okay and what else you got there mario kart wii. mario kart wii I have my own call, mario you got kart. your own mario kart don't you yeah and this sold for twenty dollars as well i'm not sure if that one has a manual in it or not but it sold for 20 bucks and so we had some nice sales we paid a dollar for mario kart we were into those yo-yos probably for about uh, 50 cents a piece, I think, because we bought those at that yard sale for $4 for the box. Ah, it does have that. Good. And we paid 99 cents for that gun at the Goodwill, and they were with us when we bought it. So, um, pretty good little profits on those. Thank you all for joining us. All right, you want me to pay you your money? Yeah. All right, you know where it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet you've been looking at it. Ah, oh, I stole it away. Uh. All right. Turner, there's your three dollars. Reagan, here's your three dollar things. Okay. All right, y'all. See Bye. you later. Tell you goodbye. Bye. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to start off our day of shipping here with a few items that I'm shipping out, not through eBay, because they are the winners' items. So this item is going out today to Rebecca. And this item today was the first item I've had bought by a viewer outside of eBay. And this is going to go to Barbara. And uh, she contacted me after seeing it in one of the haul videos or one of the yard sale videos and say, Hey, I'd like the Alabama one and the two Elvis records. If you remember, we bought that in the yard sale in Roanoke. We bought a whole lot of records for 15 bucks, I think. And she said, Hey, give me a price. And I'm like, I don't know. So I said 13 bucks and I'll ship it for free. So what do you think? Is that a pretty good price, y'all? Am I being fair? Barbara, she said I was being fair. So anyway, I'm going to ship that off. And if you do ever see anything before I post it on eBay, if you see something that you might like, send me an email. Go to uh, commonwealthpicker at gmail.com or you can go to either Facebook or to Instagram. Send me a message. Sometimes... I take a while to respond to those, but I will definitely get to you, and maybe we can work out a deal before I ever put it up on eBay. So, anyway, or something that you know I'm going to put in the booth. So, a lot of people look on eBay and like, where, where the heck is this thing? Well, it's not, it's not on eBay. It's in the booth. Like these guys, these guys won't go up on eBay. They go into, into either Needful Things or Bell Treasures. So, and we have one little announcement about those coming up soon, but I'll wait till uh, Blue Ridge Mom is with me. And then, last but not least, Michelle is going to get. The Cincinnati Picker hat, and we'll ship that off to you today. And if you don't know Michelle, if she's kind of legendary inside the uh, reseller YouTube community. She seems like she's everywhere, so I'm really happy Michelle won that. So, anyway, we'll go into the eBay cave and show you what else is selling today. A bunch of stuff, like close to 20 items sold. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. This is Kevin, and we are in the eBay cave, and we had a huge day in the eBay cave today, and the homeschool hustlers had three sales of their own. So I think I just heard them pull up in the driveway. So hopefully, depending on what Blue Ridge Mama got them doing up there, we are going to have them down to tell you what sold for the homeschool hustler store and to give them their cut of the money. Um, and then put some in the bank for them as well. So I think they came home because I heard Sophie. Sophie usually is paying attention to me, hoping I give her a treat. And all of a sudden she turned and gave one bark. And I think that usually means that somebody's home. Look, you can see her looking at him right now. Look, see her? Yep, she knows somebody's home. Don't you? You want a treat? 
So if you want a treat. <laughs> All right, well, here's your treat. Here you go. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if she jumps down a minute and goes and sees those kids. So let's let's talk about what's sold. We had a really big day. We are going to start with a Garmin Portable Friction Mount. And this sold for 20 bucks. And it was a dollar buy. It's 20 bucks free shipping. It'll get in a flat rate envelope. So we're not making a ton of money on this. We'll make about $9 profit. Next item that sold is a Shock Doctor Gel Max. Um, this was, pro it's not a bad purchase because it made money. I paid a dollar for it. It sold for 10. So it's going to make about four bucks, but I thought maybe this would go for 13 or 14 dollars brand new in the package. It, uh, it still made us a few bucks and it's an easy shipper. So happy with that. Next one is from the Mary Kay lot that we bought a long time ago now. Not a long time ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I guess. And we sold the heck out of that thing. And this is not Mary Kay branded. It says Velocity. I don't know much about it, but they're brand new. They're in the plastic, still sealed. And these four sold for 50 bucks plus shipping. So $57.65 out the door. And really, really happy about that because we already made our money back. We made our money back on two pieces out of that like 25 piece lot so this is pure profit don't ignore especially you guys out there guys it's easy to ignore this stuff 50 bucks so this is going to be after fees after we've already paid our expenses this is going to be about a 44 dollar 40 42 dollar 43 dollar profit huh you want to get down you want to say hello you want to say hi to the camera you want to say to the other dogs out there oh huh, ellen's dog huh you want to say hi Say hi. So let me go see the homeschool hustlers. All right, say so don't forget to subscribe below. All right, get on out of here. Next item up on the list is a game. It's called the Flinch Card Game. This one sold for $14.71 plus shipping. It went out for $20.56. And I got this on a, on a video quite a while back. Now, I bought it at a yard sale, but I wasn't filming the yard sale. I was kind of just filming after I bought stuff like in the car and I said I don't know if this is going to go in the booth or if this is going to go on eBay and I and I asked Blue Ridge mom I said how much would you put on this in the booth and she said three bucks and I said well I can make more than that on eBay so it is a complete set flinch in pretty good condition this is an older set I don't know exactly the date on it I had it on there 1938 um, Parker Brothers and so 1471 I paid a buck um, which means we're going to make about $12 on it. So Ralph Lauren Polo, uh, nothing amazing, but I like to pick them up when I find them with the dry cleaner tags on them. It means it's perfectly clean. People like to see that. They're willing to pay an extra couple of bucks because they know it's clean. And this one sold for $18.95. Bit of a long tail item. Bought it last fall and just sold this fall. But hey, I'll take it. It's about a $9 profit. Next item is a VMI Polo, and this is Top Threads, made in the USA. This is a great example of a single stitch polo, if you can see that or not, but it's got one line of stitching. It doesn't have two full lines of stitching. And so this is clear, I mean, it's almost see-through. This is the kind of shirt that you wanna look for. And obviously it's got VMI, which is Virginia Military Institute, which is a local um, university, not too far away. Obviously it's a military institution and it sold for $27.81 so that's a really nice profit I don't even think I got this at the Goodwill I think I got it at a yard sale for a buck maybe two so this is going to be about a 17 18 maybe 19 dollar profit on this shirt and we have a we have a Harley shirt and if you saw the um, fun at the flea video this is one we bought there we paid they wanted Three dollars a shirt. There were six shirts, three bucks a piece. That's eighteen bucks. And then they cut us a deal and said, "Hey, fifteen bucks. Take it out of here." So we got fifteen dollars into six shirts. This one sold for thirty-three dollars and twenty cents free shipping. Actually, it sold for twenty-eight seventy-one plus shipping. So thirty-three twenty. So this is going to make all of our money back and put us in the profit for about five bucks. Actually, a little bit more than that, 15, eight, uh, about $7 profit on all six shirts. So we're already making seven bucks profit. Everything else we sell on those other five shirts are gonna be pure profit. So this is a bundle 
special. We love to bundle stuff. So I estimated, I think in that video, we'd make close to $120, $80 to $120. So five shirts to go. They won't all sell for as much as this one. Matter of fact, they'll probably sell a little less. But I think it's a fair bet that we'll make close to $100. Harley's good, y'all. Don't forget to buy Harley. And this is a viewer sale. And if you remember, I said in one of the videos, I said, hey, if you want one of these, or a gag gift for one of the Christmas parties out there, send me a message on eBay. And I sell them for $12.81, I think. If you send me a message, I'll send you an offer back and, and you can get it for 10 bucks. And so that's what one of uh, my YouTube buddies did, Storage Slayer. He's been watching me for a long time and he was putting out videos of, of storage auctions that he had purchased. He was a little bit under the weather. He had, weather he hasn't put out he hadn't put out any videos in a while, but uh, hopefully you're back and doing that soon and selling off those units. And so he bought a, a fleet in a man, and we're going to send that off to him. And that goes for you out there too, if you want one to give away for Christmas, put one in a stocking or something. You know, let me know, and I'll send you an offer for ten bucks, and we'll ship it right off to you. Thank you, Storage Slayer. We appreciate you, and we appreciate the purchase this is part of a huge buy and i'm basically into these for about a dollar a piece maybe just a shade under i think we had purchased like 22 for 20 bucks at one yard sale a few months back and we're already in the profit for this one this is one of the uh, average to lower sale items it sold for eleven dollars and 41 cents media mail shipping is this will go out for 275 and fees on this will be about a bu about a buck 75 so you're looking at six dollars not a bad profit and we have four more of these red bull like uh, i don't even know what you'd call them i called them a uh, tabletop display menu stand for red bull and these went out for 21 dollars and 62 cents it'll probably cost about seven bucks to ship it it's going to be uh, a little too heavy i think to put it in a uh, first class envelope because they bought two different lots but still not a bad little sale pretty happy we only have two left had another Liberty shirt go out, and this Liberty shirt it went out for ten dollars. It's a used shirt, size medium, still pretty good shape. Whenever they have Sparkies on it, they usually go for ten, no matter if they're used or new. So nothing great, but about a five dollar profit. If you're watching the video about the Nordic track, I can't remember what we entitled that one, but I think it was the one about gold in the yard sale. I can't quite remember. It's one where we found that. Uh, 18 gram 14 karat, karat gold bracelet at I walked up to the yard sale saying I'm not gonna buy a Nordic track I'm not gonna buy a Nordic track I'm not gonna buy a Nordic track and I didn't and I'm and I'm happy I didn't this is too much work at this point but um, th now that I'm back in school in the summertime I did a, like a dumpster dive for a Nordic track if, if you guys w look back at that video um, but that's the summertime when I have a little bit more time these are little pins that uh, stick in the Nordic track. There's two of them. Actually, I think there may be four per, per Nordic track for the old version, and these sold for 10 bucks. So we pulled that off of a dumpster dive in the summer, and we sold off pieces and parts. So this is gonna be pure profit after we pay fees and shipping. So we're looking at about uh, six, 550 profit. This is one of the old time gospel hour bibles new new testament psalms and proverbs and it's super giant print so there's a little hint for you out there just don't look for any bible thinking all bibles sell they don't and most bibles don't sell for much money at all but the ones that are giant print super giant print the ones that have the tabs on the side the ones that are leather bound this is not um, but it is super giant print those will typically sell a little bit better than other ones i mean that's pretty pretty super giant print right there i mean think about it it's as big as most bibles and this is the new testament the shorter of the two testaments so this is a a pretty giant font right there pretty giant print at any rate it sold for 24 dollars 31 cents uh, it'll go medium mail it'll ship for probably around 330 that's my guess so that's a really nice profit on something i probably paid a buck for last but not least a sale from the happy little accident we had three old world ornaments going out uh, just in time for halloween and got this witch right here and this spider and they're gonna go out and th these will stay first class for sure i'll package them up pretty good and they'll stay first class 
and they sold for $27.88, which gives us a profit of about $19 to add to our list. And that brings our grand, not our grand total, that brings our running total to $1,083, and we're, we're shooting for $2,500. So there's always new, new viewers of this program. Seems like we get a few subscribers coming in every hour or so lately. And our uh, happy little accident is something we've been tracking for quite a while. We're probably going to track the hats that we got from Cincinnati Picker as well. Got a whole lot. And it reminds me, I haven't put out a, um, a uh, video going through that box of hats. And my hope is we'll turn those hats into $300. I think that's pretty conservative. I think we'll, we'll be able to do that easily. Maybe $400. And I got to show you that video. So I also have another video that I need to come out about. And it may I might even release this before this one comes out. Um, pennies. So at the end of, not at the end, but at a yard sale video where we were in Roanoke, we bought this little jewelry chest. And if you remember, the jewelry chest had um, jewelry in it. I found some sterling silver in it. We paid $4 for the jewelry chest. The box itself, we're going to put at the booth and probably get our $4 back. And then we're going to take the jewelry that's in it. Reagan's already picked a few things out for herself. But we're going to take the things that are in it and we're going to bag them up. We're going to sell them in, in one of our two booths. And we're going to obviously keep the silver. And then I found some Piedmont stamps, which I thought were going to be worth some pretty good money. And now I'm realizing they're probably not worth that much. I actually put them all out there in one lot and just put it out as an auction. When you see this video, you can check that auction out and, and see if they sell at all. I think I put it out there for 99 cents plus shipping. So... If it sells for 99 cents, I'm going to make a little tiny bit of money. And hopefully we get a few bids on it. Um, they're kind of neat. They're from the 19-teens. But there's not too many comps out there for those particular ones. There's one in there that's a woman I think is really neat. And we'll see. Who knows? But it's all pure profit. So whatever it sells for, it sells for. And there's one more thing in the bottom of that box, and I mentioned it in the haul video, but I haven't said anything about it. And that was a bunch of wheat pennies from the 1920s, I believe. So I have a guy at school, that friend at school, who does Jew or who does uh, coins. And so I took him there, and he took a look at them. And there's a couple that have a little bit of value. So I'm going to show you that video and introduce you to him. Uh, his name is Bryce, the Coin Boy. Which we got to find you a better nickname than that, Bryce. But uh, he is uh, a really knowledgeable guy about coins. And so whenever I have coins, I always ask him because I'm not that knowledgeable. I am the jack of all trades and the master of none, except for maybe Inaman. I think I might be the master of Inaman plush. Thank you so much for joining us. And hopefully you come back next time. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, just hit that subscribe button and then ring that bell up there. We'd really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you next time. See you. Thank you.